Hey guys, Tim here, and as you might have noticed, we are not in a showroom. We are in fact at M4 Workshop and Training Center. They were very kind to lend us their space, and here we have the Ares brilliantly named mid-range sniper rifle gas version. The Ares mid-range sniper rifle is based on the Finnish company Sako TRG-22. And I can imagine all the Finnish milsimers celebrating and saying we finally have something we can milsim with. It doesn't actually arrive like this, it comes in two parts. Don't worry, a baboon could put it together. We have the aluminium outer barrel attached to the front end of the nylon fiber body. And then there's the rear end of a nylon fiber body and you just put them together. I do like the way it was designed. It's very modern, very ergonomic, and the weight is evenly distributed. Speaking of which, it weighs five kilos. Ooh, slap my ass and call me Doreen. It's much lighter than I thought it'd be. This only means that I can carry it around for hours at a time and then lie down when I need to. But what makes it easier is that there is a mount at the front for a sling and two sling points for a sling mount on the stock. You could also raise the cheek rest and remove the plates on the stop just so you can adjust it so it's comfortable for you. Thankfully, it comes with its own scope mount and bipod. Now, I'm rather 50-50 about this bipod because 150, it is incredibly loose, but you can remove it by pulling the lever at the front and you have your own reel system for your own bipod. But I do like how convenient it is, how it could easily slot into position. You could fold it forward or back if you don't need it, you could also extend it to six different points, so you could even it out on an uneven terrain. Normally, muzzle brakes are used to reduce jump, recoil and flash, but in this case it actually vents sideways. It serves no purpose in airsoft, but it does look really nice. Safety could be found inside the trigger guard, the mag release is right in front of it. The magazine itself, that's pretty heavy and has the capacity of 18 BBs. I think it's time to chrono it. For the chrono test, we're using 6mm 0.2 gram BBs with green gas. The MSR proved rather consistent even for a gas sniper rifle. For the range accuracy test, we were 30 meters away using 0.3 gram BBs and green gas. As you can see, there is a video camera to the left and a very brave soul holding a GoPro to the right of the target. That went low. I was only shooting in this particular style for the range test, but that bolt action is incredibly smooth. I like the sound it makes. So accuracy wise, it's not bad. I was using 0.3 gram BBs, 6mm, and uh, 30 meters away I could hit somebody's hand about 6 or 7 times out of 10 which is rather decent. I've never found a really accurate gas sniper rifle before. It's not as consistent as a spring sniper rifle, but it's probably one of the best out there. The only somewhat accurate sniper rifle that I've come across is Tanaka's Kar 98K. So this is either on par or just a little bit below. That hop-up does need to be worn in after 100 shots or so, but it also has that hot, cold shower head effect, where if you have it at one point and it's way too little, you turn it half a centimeter clockwise and it'll be way too much. So you may need to find heavier grand BBs just to find Goldilocks. Adjusting the hop-up is not that difficult. It is that hex key hole right in front of the scope mount. Now if I were to remove this scope, I could easily look through the holes, adjust it accordingly, and it made it so easy for me. So what we have here is a sniper rifle that clocks in at an average 380 FPS, which is as consistent as its accuracy, which is somewhat up and down. But so long as the hop-up has time to run in, and with a few upgrades, it will be a great sniper rifle. I do love that trigger though, the sound that it makes. It's much quieter than a spring sniper rifle, that's for sure. I also like the bolt action, which is incredibly smooth. What I did find a little bit iffy was that magazine. Once you try to eject it and pull it out, it does need a little bit of force. 
so you need a bit of lubricant on each side just so everything runs smoothly. Apart from that, I'm just glad that it doesn't use the Aries Spring Series magazine system, which was frustrating. Apart from that, Aries have made a really good gas sniper rifle. So for this cool product and many more, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. If you'd like to know more about M4 Workshop and Training Center, click on the link in the description below. See you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Porn Stash out. Do subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with our latest and coolest videos.